Here we have 9.2 identifying the center and the radius to graph a circle given its equation in standard form. So the first thing that we need to know is about the standard form of a circle. So I'm going to come down here and explain it and then we'll go back up there and talk about it a little bit. Okay. So um, the first thing we need to know is the standard form. What is that? Standard form of a circle. It is when you have x minus a squared plus y minus b squared equal to r squared. And they may use different notation. They may use x1 and y1 just to keep you focused that this is a y coordinate and this is an x coordinate that's why they're together okay so it just depends on the notation that you see but understand that the center is going to be that point a b or if you're using this notation x1 y1 and the radius is going to be that r value okay and so the key thing to real lies here is that notice that there's a minus sign in the formula but when I grab my center I only took positive a and positive b so that's one thing we have to recognize that's happening because you're going to be taking the opposite sign than what's inside that parentheses to figure out the center and then the radius notice that this is radius squared so in order to figure out the radius you're gonna have to take the square root of that radius squared Okay, so for these problems, I know that the center is going to be the opposite of minus 5, which is positive 5, and the opposite of plus 4, which is negative 4. And then the radius is going to be the square root of that number on this side which is going to be three. Now you don't need to put plus or minus three because having a radius of negative three doesn't make sense. It means a circle would be like imploded upon itself. Um, so negative radiuses do not make sense here. So here, if you, you can figure it out from here, but it might help if I rewrote this as y minus zero, or plus zero, it really doesn't matter because zero is neutral. So when I go to find the center, I'm going to get the opposite there, which is negative one. And if I take the opposite of plus zero, it's negative zero, but there's no such thing as negative zero, it's just zero. If I had chosen to use a minus sign, then I would take the opposite, which is positive zero. But again, zero doesn't have a sign, so it's just zero. And then the radius is going to be r, the square root is 16, which is 4. And so all they're asking you here is just to identify what is the center and what is your radius. What is the center and what is your radius? That's all they want in this particular problem, but you can't do it unless you have this information, okay? And recognize that you're taking the opposite sign than what's inside that parentheses. And then for the radius, you're taking the square root of whatever number that they have here on the right-hand side. 